Now, in this particular problem, we have to divide x cubed plus 5x minus 6 by x minus 1. And as I showed in the earlier tutorial, part 1, what we do is we have x minus 1 into, okay, and then we'd start to write down the polynomial. So the first term is x cubed, but what you'll notice in this one is that there is no x squared term. So rather than write 5x next, what we do is we write no x squared, 0x squared. And then we write the x term in plus 5x, but if that were missing, I would write 0x. And then we have the constant minus 6. So in fact, if any of the terms are missing, always fill them in with 0 whatever. OK, so we've done that now, and we just carry on as before. So we start by saying, what do we multiply the x here by to get x cubed? And that would be x squared. So I write that up there. Multiply the x squared with the x minus 1. So x squared times x gives x cubed. That goes underneath. And x squared times the minus 1 gives minus x squared and you'll see it falls neatly in place with the 0x squared. So now we subtract to find out the remainder. So x cubed take away x cubed is nothing, so I won't bother writing anything in there. And then we have no x squared minus minus x squared, so that becomes a plus x squared. Don't forget, next we bring down the next term which in this case is the 5x, so I bring that down and we have plus 5x. And we start the process all over again. What do I multiply this x by to get x squared? And that would be just a simple single x. So that would be plus x that goes there. And then we do x times x minus 1, so x times the x gives x squared, and that goes under here. And then x times the minus 1 gives minus x. Subtract to find the remainder. x squared subtract the x squared here, nothing. So I won't bother writing that in. And then we've got plus 5x subtract minus x. So that's 5x minus minus x, which is 6x. Bring down the next term, in this case minus 6. We bring that down. Put it underneath. Repeat again. What do we multiply this x by to get the 6x? And that would be plus 6. So put plus 6 up there. And then 6 times x minus 1 gives 6x minus 6. And we subtract to find the remainder. And in fact, what we have here is that they're, since they're identical, we have 0 as the remainder. OK, so therefore we've divided x cubed plus 5x minus 6 by x minus 1 to give us x squared plus x plus 6.